Okay, so uh, what if I'm a spiritual student, I feel like um, I'm doing I'm doing the spiritual work to avoid the pain and suffering, but that's my only motive. I don't really want to go deeper than that, but just to uh, have a painkiller, you know, some spiritual prayers or whatever, just to get rid of the pain so that um, I can carry on living life without the and the ob and the, the extreme pains of of, of you know, physical illness or, or uh, mental suffering. So I'm, and that's the reason I'm doing it. I, I can see I'm not doing it for a higher reason. Uh, and then there's the idea of also this uh, student uh, battling thought. It's like one knows that you know um, uh, that if one is identified with thoughts, trying to get rid of other thoughts. Uh, it's like there's an aspect of my thinking trying to battle and and stop an, another aspect of thinking. So there's this feeling of battling going on within the thoughts. You know, there's a almost like a an aspect of the, the ego saying, "I'm going to battle and and stop these other thoughts from from uh, from happening," and then silence them, and then I'll be silent, and then that's the way. You know, an aspect of me will just force these thoughts to stop arising. I totally understand that and get that and also doing spiritual work to avoid pain i i think um that's very natural like if you've got pain in your foot if someone said there's a magic prayer you can do to get rid of the pain um uh, and then you know I'll, I'll do it i'll pray to god or i'll cancel it if you get rid of it and I, i'm just doing this spiritual work to get rid of the 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 pain that seems to be extreme at the moment and then i can go back to being what i am uh, and but also knowing as well um you know so that thing i think is good i think you know it's just it's just as you keep doing that you'll no, eventually as a student you'll notice it's not enough you know the other aspects of the ego come back and torture you later on so you don't get the the the, the relief that those who have transcended it to get to higher spiritual states get because they've deleted the belief systems that are um because for me in that there is a there is the ego wanting to get rid of bad pain but also wanting to continue to exist uh and and has the idea that if it doesn't surrender everything other things may eventually come to bite you so you can't just get away with limited work because everything's going to come up so eventually then uh, there can be spiritual awakenings that everything has to be surrendered uh you know and that surrendering stuff just to get rid of some of the bad stuff um and uh it doesn't guarantee you freedom that other stuff won't eventually come up and create suffering uh and also what can happen is if you're around people who've got a higher level of freedom there can be a frustration of 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 um you know it'd be nice to be in that level of freedom and then a realization even more is required to be done which uh, uh, more needs to be surrendered, and so um, uh, that can, so so it, it's like I think doing spiritual work is very very good and it works, but usually if there's more work to be done, you can't escape it. Eventually, the universe will come and give you other stuff to deal with, saying no, you've got to surrender even more, and eventually may come the realization, you know, do you want to surrender everything, and work on surrendering everything as an intention for like complete surrender to letting everything go um so um that's the frustration i understand it i mean i, I i'm much the same I, i'm sure on, if i hadn't had spectacular spiritual experiences then i'd just be wanting to just get rid of the obvious pain and then ho hopefully not have to do any more spiritual work and be on my merry way um the thing of battling thoughts you, one hears the idea and sees people who don't seem to be battling thoughts any longer or not obviously um yeah okay so what can i share on that battling thoughts i i would say like if if one can't access the observer where it's seen that thoughts are witnessed from a deeper place where and and thoughts can have no effect on 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 the 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 witnesser the freedom of the witnesser is not affected by the passing thoughts if one can't access that then um, it's just a thing of, uh, there's a few different things. One is, you know, you can cancel uh, the addiction to thoughts. So you're an infinite being subject only to what I have and surrender. Mm, you know, uh, the, the most important lesson from A Course in Miracles is all my thoughts are meaningless. 
there will never ever be a thought in all eternity that is useful. So forget the idea of going back to the TV set, to the addiction of the drama of the thinking, to try and uh, the next thought, even though that thought wasn't that useful, maybe the next thought's going to be a nice one. So uh, I'm going to try and pay attention to the next thought because you'll never get free of thoughts until there's a recognition that all thoughts uh, are, there, there's never any value to going to the thoughts ever again. And then uh, and you've deleted the belief that thoughts are useful. Um, so until that trend, you keep cancelling it or keep praying, let go of the addiction to thoughts uh, or pray for a miracle to see it differently, see thoughts differently uh, and, or to awaken. And also the other thing that is useful is to keep, um, you know, praying for willingness um, if you feel that that's not working, just doing the spiritual stuff to avoid pain, then I would, uh, one thing you can do is pray for willingness to surrender everything, you know, that it'd be, or it'd be revealed to you if it, if it, uh, or pray, or you can just pray, do a uh, prayer I don't normally talk about, um, you could pray to God uh, for a miracle and to see it in truth and that, uh, that God impress upon your mind what is the blocks for you to get to a higher level of freedom. Uh, and it may come to you wh what you're holding on to uh, that will allow you could, to get to the next level of freedom. Anyway, I pray, I pray for all those who are holding things within themselves that are blocking them from a higher level of, of, of freedom and joy. Um, I'll stop there.